Start with the obvious. Offensively, we just look a lot more like we looked for a majority of the first semester. Uh, if we can cut down on turnovers, we can be a pretty darn good offensive team. But our guys' comprehension of scoring off the pass, our spacing, uh, TK getting into the paint early on the offensive side of the ball was huge. But the, the real story of the game was the first half, hold them 8 for 28 from the field. And our ball pressure, uh, Doug Taylor's energy was unbelievable from the get-go tonight. And five blocks had a significant role in this game. Uh, thought our guys absorbed the game plan really well. And for one half, defensively executed it about as well as we could. If they got a little bit loose on us in the second half, <coughs> they started hitting some shots. And uh, it feels a lot better than it felt the last couple of days around here. I know that. I, I, our guys, one thing I know about this group is if these guys feel like they've let each other or themselves down, they're going to respond. That's what this group does. And I thought tonight looked like a game where we came off a performance where we weren't too happy with ourselves. I think that was visible for everybody to see. Questions? Bill's uh, on the kind of night my class had. Whew. Well, it's less than one calendar a year ago, he was getting spot minutes. Uh, no, just a little over one calendar year. I got to be accurate, uh, but it was a night in DeKalb, Illinois, where he emerged kind of on our offensive scene. And uh, tonight was certainly the best of his performances as a Bobcat. He also did a good job defensively. Just a good all-around game by him. Uh, I sound like a broken record. There has not been one person in this program that's put any more sweat equity in this, even when they weren't necessarily getting the returns they wanted, than Mike. And uh, you gotta like seniors. It's, he's a tough kid. The two kids that were sitting here talking to you are tough kids. And nobody likes how we felt the other night, but we didn't go into the tank. We just went back to work. So tonight, Let's not get too crazy about how good we feel. Let's just try to beat Ball State. We talked about just under a calendar year ago, Lester burst onto the scene. Now he's, you know, the the regular leading scorer almost. Did you see that in him then? When you know when? when yeah, you know, I, if you just asked me this time last year, do you think Mike will be your leading scorer next year? Probably not. But I also had higher expectations for him than. I saw the work he was putting in, and I, I, his work habits, his toughness, and his natural physical ability, his body control is phenomenal. I mean, top of the line. So, I, you never set a rival date for a player. You just keep plugging away until they get to the point where they're comfortable enough they can make the plays that they need to make. And, uh, it, it was. It has been a very rewarding year in terms of watching Mike Laster grow as a person, as a player, as a leader. Uh, tough kid. We got into the, um, I thought he was lethargic slow on Tuesday and he was none of those things tonight. Yeah, actually he wasn't too bad defensively at Central either. He really wasn't. He was not. Now he had been lethargic and slow a couple games leading up to it. But he's proud. We're all proud. You know, I. The difference between being proud and vain. And I, I think we have a group that's proud, but I don't think they're vain. I think they. If in Doug's neighborhood you get beat like that, you're going to hear about it for a long time, okay? In Doug's world, that's an insult when you get beat like that. And you respond to that by being a grown man. You've been beating, <clears throat> beating the drum all year of how hard Blasters worked and how no one's given him anything. Now that you see these results start to pay off and you see him kind of fully blossoming, what what are you what are your emotions as you watch this on the sidelines? This kid just Maybe I should out. have given him something earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, 
No, I... It, proud. Just proud. It, the, the old school coaching mentality of the coach just riding the players and just proud beating them until you get it out of them doesn't really apply to this group at all. They... I want all of them to succeed. I want all of them to succeed while they're here. I want them to succeed when they're gone. I like them. I, if you told me I had to work with Mike Laster every day for the rest of my life, I'd say, cool. And that goes with my team. Uh, when times are good, when times are bad, we got a resilient group. Going back to Doug, how much of a jump does that give you guys on the defensive end when you see him swat one into the seats and they get a big rebound? You like can that? see everybody on our team yeah. pick up. It's, it also allows you to play with so much defensive confidence too, knowing that if you get beat, you know, you, if you stay in the play and, and make it difficult, Doug's gonna be there to have your back. And uh, you look at Doug's offensive numbers, they don't begin to tell you the impact he had in the game tonight. Not even close. Zach Butler scores a couple nice strong Zach. finishes at the rim today. He hasn't scored since Maryland, so what's it like for you guys as a staff to see him uh, kind of come out of that slump? Well, that's a statement you make when you want to get minutes. And uh, TK was having a pretty good night on German defensively, so I kind of let him ride a little bit more. But trust me, if Zach is going to do the things that he did tonight, you'll see his minutes go up game by game by game. We have some assets that are still underutilized, and a lot of it is because of youth. Uh, it's easy to lose Zach in the fray because you see another freshman out there just kind of killing it. Uh, but across the nation, a freshman year like Zach's is far more typical than a freshman year like TK's. And He's done a very good job of just locking in, trying every day in practice. I know I heard he played that full four minute blast in the first half and he played pretty well. And Jordy gets old and goes, see, I told you, just produce and you'll play more. So that's true. I, I got 12 scholarship kids on this roster and I don't love any one of them more than the next. So when, when they have success and when they see, it, it gives us some depth at the point guard position. And we'll continue to work on trying to play the two of those guys together because that could be a pretty athletic backcourt. But we're not quite there yet. We're getting there. It's, there are things that you constantly work on. There are things in my head that I'm trying to get towards, but you can't make them happen faster than they're gonna happen. Not to belabor, belabor the point with Mike, but with as consistent as he's, as he's been this season, and today you, you can see him in the ISO situation being able to get the job done. Is it safe to say you guys have a go-to score now? Yeah, I think we got a couple, two, three, you know, I, TK's been yeah. pretty timely in his scoring as well when we've really needed buckets. Uh, he had a nice post up late in the game tonight. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, honestly, I ran through every special we have for Mike. I've got to put a few more in because I, I ran out. I did, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so we were just trying to dream up ways to get him the ball at the end. Uh, as efficient as he was, 12 shots wasn't enough tonight. But at the same time, I really like how we got our shots out of the flow of the offense and we looked it, again, we take, care, we take care of our turnovers. We were ridiculously efficient, efficient on offense tonight. And uh, you know I got a thing about turnovers, so that'll get addressed. TK mentioned the energy being high going into this one. So how big was that start, just kind of jumping out on them early, just uh, yeah, getting just, for your confidence? Yeah, you know, it was funny, though. It, it, you could tell, even with the fans, their, their level of engagement early on. I think we made some plays to make them stand up and yell a little bit, but I, I do think that uh, everybody in the building had a high energy level. 
probably because my son Charlie hit the game winner today in a Hocking Valley game. All the, just flying high because of that. Yeah, the, the 31 aside, what is the value, especially for the young guys, of having the senior who's put in the work and seen the results that you preach for, you know, for someone who's just like a role model? Well, what, what, what you can do is you can point to the younger guys. You know, you're not getting the minutes you want right now. It's a journey, and if you stick with it, good things can happen. And in today's day and age, it seems more and more when it doesn't go exactly the way you want it to right away, the knee-jerk reaction is, well, Gonna change the environment. I'm just gonna. Mike could have very easily left several times here. He would have had other places to go. He could have done some other things, but he wouldn't be having these, these moments right now. And you know how many people in life never have these type of moments? I have 33 once. So I'm in the club. Uh, against Portage High School, the guys out the court didn't look anything like this. I can promise you that. Uh, but it, it, as a coach, you always hang in there, keep working, good things will happen. And it sounds like you're just being a coach, talking like a coach. Mike can say it from the heart. Mike can say it from the absolute soul of his being. Mike, Mike was the first kid that committed to me here. He, he was the first guy that said, yeah, I'm in. And uh, as a program that prides itself in player development, it's nice to see a kid. And we've had other kids come and go. He's been a constant. Anything else? You see uh, Sam hit the not-so-buzzer beater at the very end? No. Uh -uh. He hit about a 30-footer. Did he? After the buzzer went off. Uh, I, I told, so he, ho hopefully he, on purpose, waited until after yeah. the buzzer to check. That's cool. I'm sure. That's fine. I I don't get very sensitive over that when it's my team, but I don't want to put a coach in a situation mm -hmm. where it's. But yes, good for Sam. <laughs>